So when you put an IoT device, an unsecured IoT device on the internet, it takes three to five minutes before it's infected by an IoT botnet. A couple of minutes later, after it's compromised, BrickerBot comes in and bricks it. So in a couple of minutes, like 30 minutes, you have your device pretty much useless. It's become a paperweight. Somebody came out of the dark and called himself the janitor, and he is the author, or claims to be the author of BrickerBot. Now, we're pretty sure that he is the author, and he claimed that he already bricked like 2 million devices since October 2016. If you look at Mirai, it's a very basic bot. All it does, it uses talent as an exploit, and to do command and control, it just creates a TCP connection, sends commands in clear text. Once the malware is activated, it will in itself also start scanning. It means that it grows exponentially. Every node is scanning for new victims. Once it finds a credential for a new victim, it's a central service that does the loading. It's very efficient and very good to create large botnets in a very limited time. So what Hajime is, it uses the same infection vector, infects the device, and takes hostage of the device. It closes the ports, so the typical Telnet connection port, the TR069 uh, vulnerability, it closes all that ports and like, secures that device. And even on the screen, you see this message, just a white hat securing some systems. Yeah? So it's supposed to be a good thing, but at the same time, it keeps hostage of those devices and building a big command and control network. And that command and control network is much more sophisticated than the Mirai one. Today, we have 300,000 of those devices across the world that are infected. So they are sitting there, taken hostage by Hajime. We don't know what the goal of Hajime is. Story, but the janitor is actually the author of BreakerBot. So he is the one who built BrickerBot, and the reason he did it, and he called it internet chemotherapy. So he said the internet is sick. With all those IoT devices being infected, being used for massive DDoS attacks, and normal measures do not get us anywhere, so he started building that BrickerBot to actually take very active measures by just breaking the ones that are bad. So if your device got broken by BrickerBot, don't be angry to the janitor. Be angry to yourself or to your manufacturer because you were already compromised by Mirai or Hajime.